Hı hı. Welcome to Airborne on St. Augustine.com and 88.5 FM, bringing interesting people from your world so you can stay dialed into your community and the folks who make it tick. I want to welcome to Airborne and our viewers. Cheryl Freeman. She is the director of RSVP right here in St. John's County, and most of us know about RSVP when we're booking something, mm -hmm. uh, but RSVP stands for something different in St. John's County. Would you tell our viewers what right. it stands for? Sure, well, thank you for having me. And My pleasure. We are uh, a volunteer program. The RSV and P stand for the Retired and Senior Volunteer Program. Mm -hmm. So any of you out there that are 55 and better, that's our, that's our crew, better. Uh, that want to give some time to the community, we want to have you. And right now we have over 800 volunteers. Good and gracious. in 2008, we're still calculating our numbers, mm -hmm. but they gave over 100,000 hours. My goodness. And uh, we we are impressed not only with the numbers that they gave, but also at, at the results of the volunteer service. Well, what kind of volunteering are these people doing? Well, we have over 45 locations where volunteers serve, places like St. Francis House, the Council on Aging, mm -hmm. the St. John's County School District. There's uh, many places that they go. We want to take their skill levels, their interests. Mm -hmm. Some are interested in doing some of what they did before. Retired right. teachers usually can't get it out of their blood, and mm -hmm. we love that. Yeah. Others come in and say, I did this, I no longer want to do, do this, this. Yeah. I want to do something totally different. Right. That I'm interested in. And we want to plug that into what needs there are in the community. Right. So we have people that tutor mm -hmm. uh, academic areas, that read to preschool children. We need lots more readers. Yeah. Uh, people mentor. They, mm -hmm. they just take a little bit of time, half hour to an hour with a student a week, and they encourage them. They might be going through a hard time. They say, you can do it. Uh, and they, we've seen them increase their, their feelings of self-esteem, right. their ability to uh, uh, work in school and it, it studies show that it cuts down on the dropout rates wonderful we have people working with the elderly those that can't leave their home uh, they deliver meals they some do uh, minor home repairs that just increases their feeling of security in the home they can and, stay in the home longer that yes way. exactly and yeah. it reduces the institutionalization rates and and it just works for everyone mm -hmm. well right there you're describing that RSVP is helping out the st. John's County School District mm -hmm. correct yes. uh, council on aging as well? Yes, and that's how our volunteers serve. They they are RSVP members, but they serve through these agencies. So, of course, we have uh, uh, working agreements with them, mm -hmm. and uh, we help get those. And then we help recognize them as well through various ways, birthday cards and things like that. Not mm -hmm. that they volunteer to get our birthday cards, but they're nice. But we have a wonderful, wonderful luncheon in, oh, yeah. in uh, the spring. And, and what we're here <laughs> to talk way, about yeah. is, is how we, <laughs> how we uh, get that luncheon uh, paid for, yeah. which is probably the best fundraiser going in thank this you, county. Thank you, thank <laughs> you. That came from the heart, too. Be I did not tell him to say because that. Because <laughs> from the heart, it's dealing with chocolate. That's right. So if you would tell us a little bit about the Chocolate Gala and beyond, mm -hmm. uh, uh, tell us, uh, you're in about your 15th year or 16th. something? 16th. Mm -hmm. year That's now. right. Wow. 16th annual, which means it's tried and true. We've got our people that come year after year after year after year. Oh, man. And then we have people that read it and say, that's for me. And so that's what I want you all to do out there. <laughs> <laughs> but we come together on, this year will be on February 21st, 2009 already. Wow. Uh, at the Lance Armory. You come in, you've got a beautiful array, beautiful decorations and some music and all. But the most important thing is you have chocolate and you have desserts, and mm. you have appetizers. Mm. And you get to trade off, um, from buying your ticket, you get to trade off your little exchange tickets for samples. Mm. And by the time the night's over, you've got your holder full of stuff. Some you've eaten, maybe all you've eaten, but usually you can't eat it all there. Take it home. Some people that are that are very disciplined will freeze and you know eat throughout the next few weeks. Oh, and wow. many of us are not that good, and we just <laughs> take care of it right there or the next day or two. And uh, it's it's a wonderful evening. We're going to have a live and silent auction with items from local uh, 
restaurants, gift certificates and things like that. We've got a quilt or two that we'll be auctioning off, um, some, some golf passes and things like that. And uh, it's just a really fun, pretty quick night, seven to nine. Uh, it, you get enough time to get in there, have a good time and time to leave with wonderful memories and then you come back next the year. The 16th year you've done this right. now. And this, again, is a, a quick fundraiser that helps uh, pay for the recognition luncheon for the RSVP volunteers, is right. that correct? Right, they come um, in the spring mm -hmm. and, and we all gather together, usually between volunteers and community partners. We have over 350, sometimes over 400 people there. And they get a chance to sit back, take a breath finally, realize the, what they've done. When you get a chance to see so many there together, oh, yeah. you see it's not, not just me and what I do, but it's a whole group of people. And uh, we encourage them. Uh, they, they have a great time, give them a few little gifts, and, and they're on their way ready to keep on going. And that's how our volunteers serve. They, they are RSVP members, but they serve through these agencies. So of course we have uh, uh, working agreements with them, mm -hmm. and uh, we help get those. And then we help recognize them as well through various ways, birthday cards and things like that. Not mm -hmm. that they volunteer to get our birthday cards, but they're nice. But we have a wonderful, wonderful luncheon in, oh, yeah. in uh, the spring. And, and what we're here <laughs> to talk way, about yeah. is, is how we, <laughs> how we uh, get that luncheon uh, paid for, which is probably the best fundraiser going in thank this you, county. Thank you, thank <laughs> you. That came from the heart, too. Be I did not tell him to say because that. Because <laughs> from the heart... It's dealing with chocolate. That's right. So if you would tell us a little bit about the Chocolate Gala and beyond, mm -hmm. uh, uh, tell us, uh, you're in about your 15th year or 16th. something? 16th mm -hmm. year That's right. Now. Wow. 16th annual, which means it's tried and true. We've got our people that come year after year after year after year. Oh, man. And then we have people that read it and say, that's for me. And so that's what I want you all to do out there. <laughs> <laughs> but we come together on, this year will be on February 21st, 2009 already. Wow. Uh, at the Lance Armory. You come in, you've got a beautiful array, beautiful decorations and some music and all. But the most important thing is you have chocolate and you have desserts, and mm. you have appetizers. Mm. And you get to trade off, um, from buying your ticket, you get to trade off your little exchange tickets for samples. Mm. And by the time the night's over, you've got your holder full of stuff. Some you've eaten, maybe all you've eaten, but usually you can't eat it all there. Take it home. Some people that are that are very disciplined will freeze and you know eat throughout the next few weeks. And oh, wow. many of us are not that good, and we just <laughs> take care of it right there or the next day or two. And uh, it's it's a wonderful evening. We're going to have a live and silent auction with items from local uh, restaurants, gift certificates, and things like that. We've got a quilt or two that we'll be auctioning off. Um, some some golf passes and things like that. You had something about a special question to yes, ask. If yes. someone answers the special chocolate question. I want to offer one free ticket to the gala. So, of course, when you see this, you need to call in before February 21st. Call as soon as you see this. I have one question that is answered on our website, okay? And you probably can find this somewhere else, but I asked you that, I asked that you look on our website to find the answer. Now, Nestle, we all know Nestle. Mm -hmm. Nestle introduced chocolate chips in what year? Okay, some people might know that off the top Chocolate of their head, chips, awesome. but <laughs> wow, hopefully that. you'll go to our website to find out. In what year did Nestle introduce chocolate chips? If you go to our website, uh, look on there. We have the we answer. have the answer put mm -hmm. in there, or, mm -hmm. or we will by the time this is there. Yeah, <laughs> we're good. But um, when you see it, give us a call, and uh, the first person that calls in, we're going to send you a free ticket. Cheryl Freeman, the director of RSVP, right here in St. Johns County, and also involved with this great Chocolate and Beyond Gala. I can't wait. Uh, thank you so much right. for coming on Airborne and, thank you. and uh, sharing this with us. We, I'm sure there are others out here, there whose mouths are watering like <laughs> mine are right now. Thank you so much. Thank you, Matt. And you've been Airborne with Matt Jeffs on 88.5 FM and staugustine.com, bringing you interesting people from your world so you can stay dialed into your community and the folks who make it tick. See you next time.